Mablu's dream. Before we get moving, you should be the one to hold on to this. Fair. For that, I suppose we should hop on the alpacas. Mablu has so kindly provided. There you go. Let's mount up. Get in the alpaca ride. <laughs> These ones are accustomed to people. The behemoth. <laughs> Still don't trust them. You have a knack for riding, no matter what you say. Without our alpaca friends, we Pelu would never have become traveling merchants. Can you imagine walking all the way across to Rall? I swear, that mountain is too tall to be real. Orkor Zormor. Isn't that the name? A bidding sight, isn't it? It's one I've never appreciated up close. You have to take the long way around the cliffs to get there. The highlands belong to the Yakui. Mobley, you said you were learning about the peddler profession. You don't care for ranch work? No, no, I love it. I love working with alpacas. Becoming a peddler has always been a dream of mine. It's just, I'm not sure I have the talent for it. If I can help you buy the taming saddle, though, then I'd be pr it'd be proof that I can do this after all. In that case, you'd best get ready to be a merchant. Look, we're almost there. Meepo's Mate Garden. Oh, I see another Aether Current over here. What if we've missed any so far? Made it. Not a single smelly incident. Send the alpacas back to Ikubo's inn, so we'll walk along the main road when we return back to the village. Speaking of roads to travel, we were adopted by the Dawn Servant, weren't you, Third Promise? And I was. And perhaps you understand, I was an orphan too, you see. Hopefully took me in. Took in all the ranch hands, actually. All of them? Yes, and everyone works hard at their chores, grateful for the opportunity to repay the head ledger's generosity. Here I am, the only one wanting to go off and be a merchant. I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm telling you this. <laughs> we need to keep trading things for your saddle if you're to prepare the feet of gold for the feet of gold. It's Mate harvesting season. Can't have too many quality hatchets. Add, that, add to that Wuklamot's way with people, and we should have no trouble making a favorable deal. That's Miplu herself over there. That's the hatch to the third promise. Let's get to bargaining. You give the hatchet back to Wukumat? Let her do the talking. I'm gonna talk anyway. What do I owe this honor? A little axe? I do. Thanks. Now to see what we can get for it. You're Miplu, the owner of these fields? Mind to trade if you're interested. Well, well, the third promise. I might be convinced to entertain a proposal? What do you have for offer? This hatchet, forged by a seasoned artisan. Razor edge of this exceptional tool will make light work of your crops. Hmm, quality is acceptable, I suppose. Or if you a large sack of mate leaves in exchange. Hmm. A sack of mate leaves is valued at one pal in the thousands column. Same price as the hatchet. It would bring us no closer to the mezcal. If I may, Mistress Miplu, harvesting season is not. Not the demand for hatchets afford them a higher value? It is indeed the season, which is why I procured an ample batch of tools well in advance. Hmm. I had anticipated that. Now we've missed the window for demand. In that case, we'll have to fall back on connection. 
Think of it this way, a generous deal here will put you in the Third Promise's good graces. Really, that's worthy of consideration. I do not wish to give offense, but I must tell you that I stand with the Second Promise. His innovations will improve the every aspect of our lives, I believe. Including farming, and I will no longer have need for need of hatchets. I assure you that I have nothing but respect for Wuklamat. This is why I'm prepared to purchase a spare hatchet at a fair price. I suppose it is fair, given your reasons, but we would have it ourselves be no better off for the transaction. How about this, then? If we were to help bring in your harvest, would you give us a better deal? As a matter of fact, I would! Until Kona's reforms come about, I can always use more hands in the field. You can go ahead and add our labor to the bargain. Hmm. Added value to tip the scales. But I have forgotten one of the most basic rules of trading. <laughs> you can rest here if you like, Mablu. Andy and I have mate together. Oh no, I'm helping too. For the fields then, and mind you pick the healthy leaves. I'll take five good bundles from each of you. Oh, we got NPCs to talk to. Hang on. Is there something you need to speak up? What do you do here? I work the fields here at Mipu's Mate Garden. Same as everyone else. I have more time on my hands when tea leaves aren't in season, of course, which I often spend attending to travelers come to tour the gardens. While I'm not the spry young woman I once was, the mate keeps a sprig in my step. Because of course, if I could just, I could just remember what Miplu asked we tell the visitor. <laughs> Miplu asked we tell the visitor. Ah, here at Miplu's mate garden, we grow the freshest of mate leaves packed with nutrients, comparable to even the healthiest of vegetables. Originally grown to suit the tastes of Wei Pelu Pelu, we hope to someday see Mate shared with the whole of Tyrol. Okay. You see how Wukumat came to my rescue there? It really is good with people. Leaves. Leaves. I actually don't know what mate leaves are. We're gonna look it up. Yerba mate is a plant species of the holly genus native to South America. It was named by the French botanist Augustin Saint Hilaire. The leaves of the plant can be steeped in hot water to make a beverage known as mate. Fruit cold, it is used to make terere. Both the plant and the beverage contain caffeine. Huh. So it's kind of like coffee. The indigenous Guranai and some Tupai communities, that would be in present-day Paraguay, first cultivated and consumed yerba mate prior to European colonization of the Americas. Consumption was exclusive to the natives of only two regions of the territory that today is Paraguay. More specifically, the departments of Anamambe and Alto Parana. After the Jesuits discovered its commercialization potential, Herba Mate became widespread throughout the province and even elsewhere in the Spanish crown. Huh. Interesting. Herba Mate can now be found worldwide in various energy drinks as well as being sold as a bottled or canned iced tea. Interesting. They make good energy drinks. Thanks, Continuum. I knew it was familiar. I was like, why do I know what this is? <laughs> this is why we have Wikipedia. Where's the... Oh, there it is. I'm really enjoying the uh, the South American influence of this expansion so far. It's a lot of fun. I grew up with a lot of this stuff, so it's, it's for me it's it's pretty it's pretty cool to see all this stuff. Like, oh, I know that, I know that Leo Point. Also, continue. How's it going? Hope your Sunday is going well. Welcome in. <laughs> 
Wasn't sure Miplu would, would bite, but it goes to show that you never know until you try. True. The music of this expansion's also been phenomenal. I absolutely adore the musical score, musical choice for the scores for this. You brought me some leaves, though. I have. A sizable pile of freshly harvested mate leaves. Acceptable harvest. See how your companions fared before I make any decisions, though. Alright, guys, you can't suck. Please don't suck. And we brought our share as well. Look at that. Team doesn't suck. Thank you, Third Promise. This is more than enough to hold up your end of the bargain. That's time to honor mine. After adding value to labor the price of the hatchet, I'm prepared to offer you a full sack of your highest grade mate leaves. Premium mate. Out at the shop, one sack of those leaves would cost no less than five pell in the thousands column. Just arrived at GDQ, resting a bit for right out. Oh, I'm glad to, glad to hear you made it there safe. Enjoy the GDQs. You just hanging out in the hotel room at this point? It just starts today, right? GDQ should have just started. No reverse car. Thanks, and if <laughs> God, adventure started. Ah, give it a good home. How could the contest decide? I'm glad we could come to a mutually agreeable trade. As am I. All the best with the rest of your harvest. Success. Getting everything all situated in the room now. Fun times. You there for you there for the whole week then? Pablo, oh, what's wrong? As I was saying before, even after everything Tobley's done for me, I'm planning to abandon it all and become a merchant. But then I need your help after forgetting a basic rule of trade. How do you expect Tobley to accept my decision then? Yep, oh, it's going to be a fun time. One day I'll make the uh, the pilgrimage to the great GDQ. You intend to give up them? I can't. If you're getting a taste of real trading, I want to become be a merchant more than ever. And you just have to be honest. I seek to follow in my father's footsteps, but not because he expects it of me. I want to preserve Tyrell's peace, and becoming Dawn's servant happens to be the best way to do it. You should live a life of your own choosing. I wouldn't be surprised if Tobley held the same opinion, so talk to him. You're right. Better to find out for sure than worry over what he might say. Thank you for the advice. I have a saddle to buy. I want that success under my belt so I can be sure of my decision. What's next then? Try to trade our tea leaves for something halfway to 10,000 Pell? No, I think we're close enough now. I said we go straight for the premium mezcal. Bargain our way into double the value, eh? Think you can do it? Trust me, I will make this trade work. I admire you, Third Promise. That's why you're holding your own against such strong competition for the throne is inspiring. Um, are you really holding my own against Kona and Zorajal? I mean, of course I am. I'm Vuklamat of the Dawn's Promise, after all. <laughs> I'm standing here like, I will have no talk of this indecision and self-loathing. But excellent trade nonetheless. Top grade Mate leaves. Big money. Yeah. 
She hasn't given it back to us yet. I've never been one to take it slow. Once I have a goal in mind, it's full speed ahead. That's who I am. Before we go, let me give you the mate leaves. I don't need to risk proving Aaronville's point. <laughs> Ready then? Our next stop is the Mezcal Distillery. Oh, hang on, there's a side quest here. Obli! Obli's got racers. Hello there, I hear you're a traveler from across the salt. Just the person I need to assist me. I wish to expand trade beyond the borders of Tural, so I've been, I've been planning to export mate tea. The problem, however, is mate's reputation for being something of an acquired taste. My solution was to blend mate leaves with some of our local specialties. Our foreign palate would be the perfect to test them. One of our brewers has already prepared a batch in the relaxationery. Why not go and speak with her? Oh, hell yeah. A taste testing? I'm always down. Ah, uh, you must be the one here to try our new blends. I prepared three for you to sample. I believe there's nothing more telling than the expression one makes when they sip their first cup of an unfamiliar tea. So go on, have a taste. Please, stay where I can see you. There's a fruity blend, a rich blend, and an earthy blend. Try the fruity blend. This blend is tea of tea has a refreshing citrus-like aroma. You taste a hint of acidity, perhaps some citrus. It complements the naturally mellow mate tea well, serving to create a soothing mixture. Okay. The rich blend. Notes of honey and vanilla tickle your tongue. A delightful blend. It may very well have wide appeal in yours and beyond. Any people wine? Any any other wine in em emotes in chat? Mmm, yes. <laughs> it's, it's, it's quite hints of vanilla. The aroma of this blend bears a striking similarity to that of coffee. Peepo wine. You detect a light bitterness beneath the full bodied earthy flavor of this blend. It's quite unique will surely have its admirers. Mmm, yes. Exquisite. <laughs> you can see from your expressions how much you enjoyed each of the blends. As the one who personally brewed them, I am truly honored. If you have a favorite among the, among the selection, please let Pobly know. Pobly, I'll take your entire stock! <laughs> Rack, I take it you try each of the blends? Tell me, which one was your favorite? I would have probably liked the rich blend that's got the honey and vanilla flavor, honestly. If I had to pick between the three, that would be the one I'd be most most likely to go for. Oh, I quite like that one myself. I thought perhaps the sweet taste of honey would mitigate the mate's naturally strong, bitter flavor, making it more palatable. Your, perceptive, your perspective has been a great help, my friend. Thank you for your assistance. The mate tea can be found anywhere in Tyrol. There's no guarantee that it will enjoy the same popularity in foreign lands. Just experiment and innovate if we are to capture new markets. Do, do, do. We got a 645 bracelet. Uh, technically, but I don't think that's actually going to be a big enough upgrade, so we're not going to bother. And back to town we go after we fight a cactus. Question mark, question mark needles? <laughs> huh. The difference of one level really that big? I think I just really didn't want to die. Get parried, bitch. Yeah, 
Give him, give him the old ghost of Tsushima. <laughs> the back-to-back -back 40ks ripped that thing in half. Oh god, he is broken in half. Sea Blue's car- Oh, there was a- hang on, we gotta go back. We missed a thing. Heck W me dumb. There's a friggin- there was an aether current back there we forgot to grab. We literally saw it in the cutscene walking up to this place and then forgot to get it. Yep, there it is. Almost left this behind. But I have almost made such a careless mistake. How many of these do we need to find here anyway? How many currents are in this region? Quite a few, actually. I don't think there's more than there used to be. I think that's... They just change it from the... When the next expansion rolls over. Mizuki, what are you doing? Get out of that. Not for you to fuck with. Oh, there's some more side quests over there. Gone doll and dirty dancing. Can we could detour for that real quick. Where's my motorcycle? Where's my motorbike? A bander coral. Where are these quests over here? Here, apparently. There's a fade up here, hang on. What that arrow means on that? Bonus supply. Enkindled by Vagalarmanda's calamitous flames, the fearsome rock urk have descended the mountain in search of a worthy warrior. Until the Stout Strider returns with reinforcements, you are the only thing standing between watching Halo and its destruction. That's a lot of... That was a lot of attacks. Complete, and we got a bonus. 32 bicolor gems for that. 
Forgive the delay, I brought the cell swords. Oh, you killed it already. What? You've already defeated it? Incredible. Thank the gods it didn't reach the village. We saved the day. Now we're going to still find our way to those side quests. Oh, they were back at the inn. Apparently we just didn't see them. Gondal. Excuse me, sir, do you have a moment? Please, I need your help. I've a crap been come to discuss a new project with a client, but I seem to have lost my lucky charm along the wall. My dear doll. I'm afraid that my home meeting the meeting may turn out without it. Last time I saw it was at Potak Palu Retreat. Maybe it fell out when I was gathering my things. And to meet with my client in just a moment. Wouldn't be too wouldn't do to be late. I realize this is sudden, but would you find my doll for me? I'll delay the meeting for as long as I can. Greetings, I take it you're a traveler? You are looking for a place to rest this eve. We've got beds of varying size to accommodate guests of all proportions. How do we get to the back area? Up through there. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I guess we gotta like go this way. New location discovered. Cut that down real nice and easy. <laughs> this guy's doll should be up here somewhere. Welcome to Panak Palu Retreat. If there's anything you'd like to know, please feel free to ask. Who are you? I'm Yumplu. Yuplu. I'm Yuplu, and I aid visitors in finding all that we have to offer here. You'll find my brother Cavley up just up the slope there. I'm sure you'll see the rest of my family helping others around here if you stay long enough. I often spend my time speaking with guests about the benefits of the spring's waters and their history. One day, we might do the same. Panak Palu Retreat is where travelers and merchants from afar come to soothe the aches of their journeys. All who visit may avail themselves of these natural hot springs free of charge. Lest you wonder how we can afford this, we actually earn sufficient power from the assorted souvenirs and dining services we offer. This way, we treat our customers, and they treat us in return. Mutually satisfactory arrangement, would you not agree? That's some big brain business. If anything I can help you with, please do not hesitate to let me know. My duty to present patrons with the highest level of service. Business goes smooth smoothly with each party is... When each party is in good spirits, happily do my part to facilitate such dealing. The merchant hired me as a guard to protect him and his wares in the journey of these mountains. But he bade me rest in the springs while he attends to his negotiations. I do not look forward to leaving this place. <laughs> One may immerse their body in the heat of these springs whilst feeling the gentle brush of the wind on their face. Gazing upon this vista in such a state brings complete peace of mind and soothes the spirit. Look in a Panic Palu Retreat. 
pray let down your burdens and enjoy our spacious springs. Take in the breathtaking view. Basket is completely empty. You open the lid and look inside the jar. The doll is nowhere to be found within. You look at a small pouch behind the shelf. Inside, you find an adorable doll, a warm smile adorning its face. This appears to be the missing item. We found the doll! Is there another one of those, uh... currents nearby, possibly? Let's take a quick look around, just to be sure. You're only going to order Mezcal? Nothing beats a drink after a hot bath. You're just gonna sit here and get sloshed? Of course I am. Why would you not? Give the archer, do you not? <laughs> Turn this quest in. Oh, there's where I was seeing that was red. It's up over there. What that is? A windstorm blowing through. It's a bit windy out here today. Were you able to find it? I was. I'm the best. Thank goodness, my precious doll. I won't let it out of my sight again. Pelu Pelu became merchants after Gulu... Gulu Jaja bestowed a great kindness upon our people to achieve his goal of fostering amity between clans. This doll's bright smile serves as a reminder to uphold that ideal and spread happiness through trade. I have no doubt that you, being the kind-hearted individual that you are, will enjoy great fortune and happiness in your future business endeavors. I really can't thank you enough for your help. Quest complete. Level 91. It means we have to switch classes. Oh. Uh, who's next? Yes. Oh, we're not in a, uh... I was like, why does this look like this? This isn't my outfit that looks like. Because... We are not in a sanctuary. Ah, an unfamiliar face. Are you perchance a traveler? If so, I dare say you could not have timed your visit better. Tell me, do you know of the hot springs managed by the Pelu Pelu? Master will soon be performing a traditional dance of the Mamulja there. I tend to join him once I've closed my stall for the day. If you're interested in seeing it for yourself, simply head to Pelu Hanak Pelu retreat south of here and look for a dancer carrying himself with poise and grace. Oh, I gotta go back up there then. Oh, these are all double glamour styles we can do this with. Good to know. Dignified dancer. Is 
are interested in our traditional bathing dance. I'm honored. It'd be my pleasure to show you. But truly appreciate it. First, you must understand the purpose behind each movement. The dancer steps before the spring or dances. The dancer steps before the spring and pours its purifying waters over their body thrice, cleansing skin of grime, mind of thoughts, and joints of ache. Only when they are in perfect condition may the dance begin. Come, I will show you. Bathing dances under no circumstances allowed in the public springs. Those who do not comply will be escorted out and banned for further, from further entry. The stimulation is simply too much for the other guests. I'd be happy to have someone escort you to one of our private springs. You may perform the dance to your heart's content. But I was unaware of such a rule. Very well. It is regrettable that I cannot demonstrate Mamulja tradition before an audience. But better that I dance in private than not at all. Where you came all this way for nothing, my friend? Would you be kind enough to let my pupil, Vujilja, know that I will be performing in seclusion? Under no circumstances to be permitted be demonstrated in public. Forgive me, I didn't realize the dance had been forbidden in the public springs. I will love this way to perform it, following in the graceful footsteps of the most experienced and most handsome of all my master's pupils. Oh, Bugolja, how I miss him. He left to Raw many years ago, saying he would make a name for himself as a mercenary across the salt. Hope he is well. <laughs> That's the dude from the fate at Camp Bronze Lake. But that is neither here nor there. I must thank you for relaying master's message to me. I'll join him in the private springs when I have finished up here. Unfortunate you could not witness the dance today, but hopefully, one day soon, you will have the opportunity to behold the glory of our sacred dance. <laughs> yeah, that's the guy who gets kicked out of Camp Bronze Lake, and there's a whole fate where you battle him at the front though at the front gate of it in uh in uh Lenosia. It's a 645 ring. I don't think I need that for us. No. I think a lot of these 645s I'm not going to need. Now let's head back to town. What in the hell? Oh. Some big ass horse. Oof, the smell of mezcal is overpowering, the fumes alone are making me dizzy. I want to speak with a man by the name of Gobli. And among his fellow distillers, he's regarded as a master of the craft. He knows the value of his product, so if we're going to convince him to trade for twice what the leaves are worth, we're going to need targeted information. That means asking around and talking, taking in the gossip. If you can talk to people here in the distillery, Andy, perhaps Uklamat can do the same at the village entrance. Meanwhile, I'll head to the north side and see what I can learn. Okay. Let's fix my outfit. Beeblejaw. Hey, I'm a chef in Tuliola. I often come here to buy Gobli's Mezcal, finest in Tural, according to my customers. 
It always brings out a jug during our dealings, but I can't handle the stuff too well myself. I take small sips, not wanting to be impolite, you understand. Still end up so addled as to agree to whatever price he quotes me. It'd be nice to have less, uh, potent refreshments during such conversations. Else I might, might have to seriously reconsider our arrangement. He likes to get his clients shit-faced, so he has them overpay. Clever. Hope he might be a deft hand at distilling, but he's got no sense when it comes to appearances. Rumor has it he's been invited to the palace for business negotiation. If he presents himself to the court wearing his usual rumpled attire, though, he'll be laughed out of Sunperch. Not much I can say about Gobli, but I can tell you what Gobli's been saying. The other day he was muttering about monsters prowling around agave, agave jaws. That's the field where they gather ingredients for the mezcal. The presence has made it harder to produce said ingredients and thus driven up the price of his product. A boon, some might argue, but it's hard to celebrate when it affects the work as it does. You can't really bring joy to people if you can't keep, bring, keep making the thing they love. Ooh. Oh, what did you find out? Oh, you make use of all those tidbits. Deal is as good as sealed. As for me, found out where Gobli is working. There's a millstone at the top of the slope behind the distillery. You go on ahead and I'll bring Wuklamot. Okay. I don't want to do Scholar or do I want to do... Roll a gunbreaker. This ramp. Me dumb. This is where we need to go. Business with you, sir? Why don't we talk down below so as to not distract the alpaca from his work? Okay. this about a brief if you would busy man we're in the market for a three-year-old jug of premium mezcal assuming you have any on hand that is ah uh, an excellent choice i must warn you though it doesn't come cheap we don't have pell but we can offer a sack of mati leaves in exchange top grade stuff like the mezcal no deal mati leaves are all in good but i don't have any use for them No deal, just like that. Still, I'd hate to send you away empty-handed. Why don't we sit and chat a while over a cup of mezcal? Now the real bargaining begins. Which of our cards do you want to play first? I appreciate your hospitality, but I'm afraid I can't hold my drink. I've heard one of your regular customers, a Hobigo chief, is the same. Because not everyone can enjoy Mezcal, I wonder if you might benefit from having other refreshments to offer? Something like Mate tea, for instance. And brewed from the finest leaves, of course. But... Ah, you're right, absolutely right. I noticed a growing reluctance on the part of my Hobigo friend. I did not realize myself I was to blame. I must endeavor to be a better host still. And with the added value in mind, no sack of leaves is worth the mezcal you're after.
Don't offer to call the monsters, causing them trouble? Hmm, not yet. We'll get the card up our sleeve till we need it. As I expect you're aware, the Rite of Succession is currently taking place. That's why the Third Promise has graced us with her presence. When the contest is decided, the subsequent Ascension Ceremony and Banquet will be a prestigious affair. If your Mezco were to be served there, it would bring your distillery a measurable fame. Could it be that your rumored invitation to the palace is to discuss that very possibility? As a matter of fact, yes. I must admit, I'm still reeling from the abruptness of it all. It'd be a great honor and opportunity. I can secure the deal. Well, I should think your exceptional mez call would speak for itself. With that said, there's no such thing as being too prepared, and first impressions last. You'll want to be wearing your very best when you walk into Volox's Shunsa. It would be such a shame to miss this chance of a lifetime supply for want of proper garments. But I, my robes are terrible. It would. Saying you have garments to offer, something ideal for court? We have no garments on hand, I'm afraid, but we can provide you with the next best thing, an introduction to a weaver. His name is Bull Knock, and his works are highly regarded in Tulioli. Clever. As a supporter of Wuklamat and keen observer of palace politics, he will doubtless be happy to guide you in the selection of an outfit to fit this golden occasion. Certainly a tempting proposal, and one of which I should like to take full advantage. The scales still aren't quite balancing. Hey, weren't there monsters running amok in Agave Jaws? That's a problem we could easily solve for you. Truly be most grateful for your immediate assistance. I was resigned to hiring cell swords to clear them out. Factoring in that saved expense and an introduction to a trusted weaver, this is shaping up to sound like it to be a sound bargain. All right, you have a deal. Yes, I knew you'd come around. Give us a moment and Andy and I will take care of those prowling nuisances. In the meantime, I'll use the time to pen an introductory letter to Bullnock. Field you're looking for just north of Wachun Pecho. Wachun Pelo. Be safe. Okay. Oh boy, I go kill him. Theodore Brosevelt. That should be Agave Jaws just over there. Go faster if we split up. Come and find me once you finish clearing out your share of the pests. Okay. We've seemingly explored most of the northern area of this region. Ah, uh, Traveler, welcome to Agave Jaws, friend. How can I be of service? You do here. Well, many things. I examine the soil and weather to ensure our agave is to grow in the best conditions possible. Decide the pace at which they are cultivated, and determine how many are prepared for distillation. Nothing pleases me more than when someone takes an interest in the farm. Colleagues and I spend all day looking after the agaves. I suppose it just feels nice when our hard work is appreciated. Aye, it's an agave farm, of course. Collect their sap and distill it to make mezcal. As for the farm's namesake, well, just look at how neatly we have the plants lined up. Doesn't the view remind you of a wild beast's gaping maw? Uh, not that I've seen one up close. Does it? I guess so. Thank you. 
A prickly barbel. Hostile wildlife removed. Compared to the creatures I hunted with Papa, this was no challenge at all. Let's head back to the distillery. All that's left is to give Ma Blue the sack of leaves so she can seal the deal. Easy peasy. Oh, look at that. There's an aether current up there. We'll grab that real quick. Oh, it is coming after me. Okay. Is that? Oh. That is, uh, that is a nasty looking bug. That does not look friendly. It looks very mean, <laughs> very dangerous. already and hardened mercenaries would have taken longer come on give Mobile the second leave so she can seal the deal once there's no trouble for you it seems now if I can just have the sack of leaves the leaves are yours thank you for looking after our precious trading goods the monster problem has been resolved master Gobi here are the mate leaves and a written introduction to Bachnol as agreed. And the deal is done. Here, your jug of premium mezcal aged three years. Please accept it with my compliments. Yes, we finally have the mezcal. Great work, especially you, Mablu. You're the one that inspired me to come this far, Third Promise, but let's not celebrate until we have the saddle in hand. Pablo, is it? You drive a hard bargain, young peddler. I look forward to doing business with you in the future. Thank you, but truth be told, I'm just a ranch hand, for now. Did I ever become a proper merchant, though, I'll be back to strike more deals with you. Excellent trade. 
We got the three year premium Mezcal. Easy peasy. Easiest trade deal of my life. Oh, we get dyes out of them. Hell yeah. Add more Cactuar Green to our pile, I guess. Even at the palace, I don't think I've held a 10,000 pelt jug of anything before. My hands won't stop shaking. Here, you better not, I better hold on to that until I get to the saddle maker. Huh, could you imagine if we dropped it and had to start all over again? Luckily, I have these places not far. We just need to head across the plaza. This is it. Trade we've been working towards. A high quality jug of mezcal you received in trade for premium mate leaves, an introductory letter, and the swift culling of hostile pests for 10 pell in the thousands column. Ooh, still in one piece. Right, time to make our deal. Get your tools ready, Saddler. We've brought your precious mezcal. You actually got your hands on a jug? But you had nothing, a few measly clumps of wool. What we had was an aspiring trader with a gift of negotiation. Hmm. Although I'd sooner aid no claimant but Zorit. Zoral Ja, I cannot go against the guiding principles of the Pelu Pelu. The trade is a fair one. I'll craft your saddle, third promise. Great. Anyway, if you like, I have all the requisite materials, so this won't take long. <laughs> Much as it disturbs me that I have to do this. And not go against my people's ways. <laughs> Mission is ready. Catching a wild alpaca is never a simple affair, but you'll have an easier time of it with one of my saddles. Now, if you don't mind, I've other work that needs finishing. At least that smooth mezcal already. We did it! The saddle is ours! I think we started with only a hundred pell basket of alpaca wool. Oh, you are going to be an incredible merchant. <laughs> Thank you. It makes me glad, to, so glad to hear you say that, Third Promise. Yeah, we came for, so let's return to the ranch. The others will be waiting. Feat accomplished. We got the taming saddle. Success. <laughs> this is a fun little silly thing. I like this, though. This is fun, though. Been away for some time, I assume trading was productive. Probably in Ironville have been teaching us how to care for alpacas. Mental girl ate the feed straight from my hand. I made the mistake of startling one and caught a glob of spittle for my trouble. Begin to understand Wuklamat's aversion to the animals. <laughs> Someone's been pitching in with the alpacas. The good news. We have the saddle. Acquired the saddle, then. Yes, thanks in no small part to Moblu. You rush off to catch an alpaca, though, let me teach you how to saddle one. I'll bring out one of our wild born friends so you can practice. <laughs> You're gonna have to do this. 
I know, I know. This is something I need to learn. <laughs> the fucking stare down. Great sunken gods! I did it! <laughs> Hardly they seem bothered, much less inclined to spit if he was completely accepting of Huklamot's touch. Because of the singular scent with which the saddle has been coated, Akas find it very soothing. You know, I've never taken a good long look at one of you before, but you're actually kind of cute. <laughs> you're only now noticing that? Pearl Jaw, he's back. he done exactly what he set out to do. The Pekka he's brought, is it just me or is it glowing? Heard of tales of such a beast? Yet the golden alpaca lives a solitary existence deep in the valley where it shuns the company of both man and its own kind. How did he manage to snare a prize like that? The beast knows its betters. Faced with overwhelming strength, it will yield rather than risk death. An apt illustration of how greatly the power of the first promise exceeds yours will be that. Strength alone won't win him or our, our father's throne. I'll be the one to find the Golden City, and then Toral can remain at peace. Everlasting desire for peace can only be forged in the fires of war. <laughs> okay, Zoral Ja. <laughs> you know, you reminded me a lot of an old friend of mine. And? He also learned that strength alone is not what gives someone readiness to rule. Unite is one that people must be taught. We must suffer the horror and the hopelessness firsthand. Exhaustion from a long conflict, the wages of war's merciless nature. These are what moved the clans to join in the founding of Tulioli all those years ago. Consider the younger generation of this village. Since birth, they have vast and unbroken harmony, and behold, they regard war not as tragedy, but opportunity. Thus does the resilient son seek to provide education. He offers much needed lessons in the realities of conquest and the renewed appreciation for peacetime. It's true that war's misery breeds a longing for peace. But I have seen with my own eyes what becomes of an empire forged through the violence you propose, the rebellions it spawned, the ruins it left behind. The Garlean Empire was a congregation of simpletons. The oppressed fought back against their oppressors, as well they should. Men are not beasts. Only a fool would seek to rule over all with the threat of force alone. That's why Gulu Jaja did not elevate the Mamulja, but he treated all clans with equal respect. However, the first promise has his gaze fixed upon a more distant horizon. Unite not only Tuliola, star in its entirety. Why? I need not explain myself to you. Oh, well done. Well done indeed. Promise has completed the feat of gold with an appropriately golden flourish. I present to you your much deserved keystone. He's always been like that, never sharing his innermost thoughts with me or even Kona. Like we're not even family.
Reminds me of an old Gaius. Much of our star has begun to embrace reconciliation rebuild. And this would-be warlord would thrust all us all back into turmoil. Cannot allow it to happen. What kind of idiot thinks the world can be united with war? <laughs> Even most Garleans have since realized that their conquests were a mistake. Earl Jaw is willing to go to war for his twisted vision of peace. If he achieve this peace, then what? Never agree with Zoral Jaw. I want Tuliola to be a, I want Tuliola to be a land of peace, now and always. Golden alpaca in the flesh. With the Golden City, I thought them a children's tale. I ponder Zoral Jaw on his mysteries later. Right now, I need to think about finishing the feet of gold. I have my saddle, I practiced how to use it, so lead on to where the wild alpacas roam. <laughs> Valley of Oroconca Oroconca is northwest of here. Come on, everyone, even if we can't enter ourselves, we can see Wukumat off on our hunt. What in oblivion is that? Oh, it's just a barb bowl, but it's green. Some we fought earlier were gray. This way. Oh, that's someone's chocobo. I was like, what's with the red chocobo out here? What the hell? Yo, the fucking sombrero and shit. That's awesome. Where do you get that from? That's, that's sick. I like that. The wild ride birding. Do I have that yet? Companion. That one comes from. I want the fucking sombrero. That's cool as hell. How deep do you think the valley is? I glanced over the edge on the way to the year, but the mist is too thick to even speculate. Never set foot beyond this point. The valley is said to be home to friends. Fiends far more ferocious than spitting alpacas. Theralja might. May have caught his alpaca first, but that doesn't mean Wuklamat is out of the running. She can do this. Orinconka is a steep and treacherous place. Only those with the head ledger's blessing are permitted to go there. Pablo's right. The least we can do is let Wuklamat know we're cheering for her. Oh, this is cool. That's good. They put the emote right in the quest thing now. That never used to be there. Good luck there, promise. Thanks. I'll need it. Truth be told, still not sure about alpacas. I'd rather not go near one if I can help it. But if I'm to rule this nation, then I'll need to learn how to live with them. Tural is their home too. Right. I'm off. So, shall we head back to the ranch, or...? <laughs> We're just gonna wait here. I'm staying here! As will I. Wuklamart is alone in this. 
The least we can do is stand watch and await her return. It may be a while yet. Help me pitch the tent. Trust a Gleena to come prepared for anything. <laughs> What's a gleaner? Someone whose job it is to travel the world and procure uncommon things for their employers. Erinville specializes in finding animals, I believe. But aren't you a Shitona from Shaktural? Why did you cross the salt? When I was much younger, the thought of leaving Tural never even occurred to me. But then, some years ago, my mentor tasked me with a difficult hunt. Something I could never find, she said, so long as I clung to the familiar. She suggested that I leave home, leave Tural, and join the cleaners of Sharlion. As one of their number, I could experience the world, immerse myself in myriad cultures and customs, see the many faces of nature. And once I had learned what is truly important, I would find that which I seek. My younger self took those words to heart, and off I went to become a cleaner. Her words alone moved you to leave behind everything you'd ever known? You must have great respect for your mentor. As it happens, cleaner work was much to my liking. And I all but forgot why I had pursued it in the first place. Yet, events conspired to put me back on the trail I'd abandoned. <laughs> Wait, are you saying you were tasked with finding the City of Gold? I was, and though my hunt is now entangled with the right of succession, I mean to see it through. <laughs> so he tried to find it once and ended up coming to Eorzea in the process of not being able to locate it. Now somehow, despite everything, he's ended up back here again. I understand completely. We all have our reasons for seeking the Golden City. Which is all the more reason for us to work together. <laughs> Just so. She should have been back by now. What if something's happened to her? We need to tell Tobli and arrange a search party. Wait, do you hear that? <laughs> I did it. Utterly spent, and small wonder. Well done, third promise. The ranch isn't going anywhere. Take a rest in the tent. I think I will. Thank you all for believing in me. I'm just here for the adventure. <laughs> yeah. I 
Why didn't you go do anything? I don't have to. I did my journey. This is, this is a victory lap for me. Uncle Matt had no serious injuries to speak of. However, she had clearly been pushed to the very limits of her endurance. I spoke too much. If Uncle Matt is up to it, we should be heading back to Tobi. We're out here for quite some time, but I'm glad Uncle Matt was able to catch her alpaca. An iron belt choosing to share his story with us was a welcome surprise. Alphen was quick to lend a hand with, his, with dismantling the tent. Is this to be his new obsession now that he has mastered collecting firewood? <laughs> oh shit, Alphen catching strays. That was targeted. Thanks to Alphen healing hands, I can actually stand again. Maybe even walk. We'll relieve leave the third promise came back to a safe... The alpaca, she, seen, she tamed as a healthy looking beast. Surely this will be enough to satisfy the feet of gold. Pack to our die, please. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Knowing the Pelu Pelu. Ukumat still seems a bit unsteady in her feet. Hardly surprising after she spent the night chasing alpacas. You know it will melt away the fatigue like magic, though? Mate tea. I'll run to the ranch and get a pop. That way you can take your time, and the tea will be ready when you arrive. Prabhu so wisely have suggested, I'll suggest that we shall set a slower pace for our exhausted third promise. Okay. want the fucking sombrero for my chocobo now. <laughs> and back ahead of the others, did you? Hurry along with the tea then. Uklamont can't be that far ahead. Oh, that tea really is magical. I feel better already. So you've become more comfortable around our fuzzy friends. Watching this one taught me a lot about alpacas. Grasses and fruits they eat, what sounds they react to, their adorable little quirks. I guess I've grown kind of fond of them. Welcome back, Third Promise. Accomplished the feat of gold, have you? Yes. No mistaking a valley alpaca. I commend you on your success. Well done. <laughs> we did it. Although, I couldn't find a shiny one like Zoral Jaw did. I'd be surprised if you had. Golden alpacas are born but once every few decades. They're elusive, solitary creatures that are rarely seen, much less captured, thanks to their innate physical and magical gifts. They're like red chocobos. <laughs> Only a single other person is known to have caught one before, that being Lul Jaja himself. Papa was chasing alpacas too? So my grandfather's stories say. It was before the founding of Tuliolo, a time when the mountain giants, the Akhui, held our people in thrall. Compelled by their overlords, our forebears would ride their alpaca mounts to the highlands to deliver gifts of food and other tributes. Those were wretched days to hear grandfather tell it. Then along came the young Gula, Gulul Jaja, yet unburdened by the mantle of Dawn Servant. Huh.
They've explicitly taken pains to make sure one of the people following him is obfuscated. There's intent behind that. People were amazed by this imposing two-headed figure, equal to the Yakui in stature, puzzled by his entourage of mismatched companions. Some trembled in fear, believing a new conqueror had come. Yet Gulul Jaja showed no such inclinations. He sat and spoke with us, sipping from the cups of mate tea we offered him, and grew somber when he learned of our plight. Yeah, there's a Vera with them. But they made a point to make sure you don't know who this character is. Because clearly the Rogadin must be our intrepid explorer from Eorzea. None could have anticipated what their visitor decided to do next. Lul Jaja ascended to the cliffs to face the giants and freed the Pelu Pelu from the Yakui's subjugation. He then turned an appraising eye upon one of our ri upon our riders and proposed we take to the road to peddle our beverages. The suggestion seemed obvious for one who traveled as he did, intent on fostering amity between the clans. So it was that a few words from Galul Jaja transformed us into a clan of itinerant merchants. Never heard the Bon Papa forge with the Pelu Pelu spoken of in that way before. Aga is not so detailed. And you may not know that Galul, Galul Jaja sought a sure footed guide for his trek up the highlands. Thus did he capture a golden alpaca. Both my brother and my father caught the rarest of creatures. An ordinary one was the best I could manage. The feat required no more than that third promise, and you brought back a perfectly wonderful beast. Pablo's right. Perfectly wonderful beast. If anyone's ordinary, it's me. Not only did you accomplish the feat of gold, you also made many trades and brought joy to many people in true Pelu Pelu fashion. I certainly doubt your sibling could have achieved the same result. You should be proud of the accomplishments which earned you your keystone. It's a rock! <laughs> this is what they look like. Come on, set it in the tablet. Oh, shiny. Perfect fit. Six more. Well on your way, Third Promise. We'd have been lost without you, Mablu. Thanks to you, I learned so much about the Pelu people and your custom. It might seem obvious, but I've come to realize the importance of properly knowing something. It was because I didn't understand alpacas that I was uncomfortable around them. Thankful to you as well, Uklamat. You've given me the courage to say what I wasn't sure I could ever say. Probably, I want to leave the ranch and become a merchant. I appreciate everything you've done for me, and I've loved every moment caring for the alpacas. This is something I need to do. I need to walk my own path and make my own trades. Does your parent allow me to say one thing? I've always tried to give my wards lives filled with as much happiness as I can provide, yet never once have I wanted that to be their only happiness you knew. You have my blessing to walk any path you choose, Mablu. It gladdens me to hear you've found your calling we wish to pursue with such passion. You'll make an exceptional peddler, I'm sure of it. Ebo happy. Thank you, Tobli. What did I tell you, Mablu? One last thing I can help you with, Third Promise. You need to find the Golden City, right? That's the end goal. 
And I suggest you talk to the Yakui. They once ruled over far more than just Urkopacha and the Pelu Pelu. A thousand years ago, they were the overlords of Yaktaral and all its peoples. During that era, the Pelu Pelu were commanded to search for a city of gold. They scoured every corner of the continent, but never found any trace of that fabled place. But they didn't find anything. What could the Yakui have to tell us? They may not have found it. The fact that they thought it to look for it at all makes me curious. Perhaps there's value in delving into how the legend originated. We lose nothing from asking the questions. Besides, if we're determined to follow the path of the saga, we'll be visiting the giants eventually. The giants from Wind Waker. Stone Tower Temple. <laughs> or no, Wind, not Wind Waker. Ah, um, uh, that would be... Uh, Jorah's Mask. Oh, Kryle, I have a question I've been meaning to ask since we finished with the feed. Where did you acquire that earring? My earring? Do you recognize it? Yes, pieces just like it first became fashionable in Yachtaral around 20 years ago. Since then, it's become common to wear them. One is a charm for safe travel. 20 years ago, right about the time my grandfather made his journey. Yet the Dawn Servant implied the earring was connected to the Golden City in some way. Clearly, there was more to its significance than simple fashion. If you want to know how it first came to be crafted, I could try to find out. Seeing as it's a regular seller and for many merchants, I'm curious to learn about it myself. I would appreciate that very much. Thank you. Coming feet first into the peddler's business, eh, Mapu? Alright then, let's head back to Tulioli and get ready to search for the next Elector. Farewell for now, and thanks for all your help. We will become Dawn Servants. Make sure you set aside your best Mezcal for the occasion. There's a fearsome opponent in that brother of hers. He even brought a golden alpaca to heal. You've heard Zoral Jaw's supporters talk. They might see opportunity as an expansionist ambition. They find the man himself intimidating, terrifying. Whereas I've grown to love Wuklamat. When she meets, we'll come to love her too. That's why she'll win the throne. <laughs> you might be right, Mablu. You might be right. He's a regular warrior of light, chat. Yakui yeah, once ruled the entirety of Yakhtaral. Curious to see what's become of them. Expected as much from the moment I saw him, but winning the contest against Zoroljaw will not be easy. Four legged troubles aside, Wuklamot completed that defeat and earned a keystone. That's all that matters. Never dared hope you would find a lead for this earring mystery so quickly. I still want to know what the hell Estinian's doing out here. <laughs> Feels good to have the feet of gold safely under our belt, even if my victory pales beside Zoral Jaw and his shiny golden alpaca. I know I shouldn't let it bother me, and gods know you've all been so supportive, but I want to be strong or wise like my brothers. Be a promise that people respect. You've got a lot to figure out, Yakukumat, because you clearly have not realized what makes me such a likable person. I am neither strong nor wise. I'm attentive. <laughs> it's not likely. I stand here carrying on and about about things. Let's move on. Back to Zabyev tie with us. The contest has hardly begun. Oh, side quest time. How do we get up there? Do 
You look like you should be able to jump up these walls, and you absolutely can't. He's back! Alright guys, it's time for side quest before we head on back. The corn servant. Too much of a good thing. You would recognize this the rustle of this corn anywhere. I'm so glad that this is a continuation of quests. <laughs> so well, well, if isn't my dear friend from Tuliola. Do hope your days, as well as your stomach, have been full of merriment and cheer since last we met. Glad to hear it. I was just passing through and a faint rumbling caught my attention. Unmistakable sound of a belly in need. How fortuitous that fate would also guide you here. But I impose upon you to help me once more. If you would lend an ear to the poor boy's troubles, I can determine how best to lend an ear of my own. <laughs> an ear of corn, that is. Gentlemen, behold! Corn! There he is. He seems awfully distraught. Husk of his usually chipper self, I'm sure. I come for business. I'm afraid I'm much too tired right now. It's strange, really. No matter how much I sleep or try to sleep, I suppose, it never seems to be enough. Despite the weird grumbling of my stomach, I have no appetite. I recognize a lover of corn when I see one. The problem, I believe, is that he eats only corn. He's exhibiting clear signs of malnourishment for a lack of a well-balanced diet. Though my dominion is only over that which is corn and kernel, there may yet be a way we can help him. Paired with lime water, my corn can be enriched with additional nutrients. Behold, a rich and creamy corn soup. Surely this will help remedy what ails him. <laughs> hmm, that soup will help me feel better. Oh, a corn soup really is the best of foods. I can't get enough of it. Never thought eating only corn could be bad for me. There's no denying how terrible I've been feeling lately. I suppose I'll need to be more creative with my corn cooking. Thanks for this. You've given me so much to think about. Nothing like a nice warm corn soup to warm the belly and the heart. Let this be a reminder, my friend. It is possible to have too much of a good thing. Even corn! But in moderation, together with other herbs, spices, and flavorings, you can enjoy a cornucopia of delectable delights. Corn! Put it in the cornucopia! <sighs> believe our work here is done. Oh, that where there are those who need sustenance, I will be there. Fare thee well. We've aided the corn servant once again. It looks like we have a couple of aether current unlocks here. Are there other quests? Oh, there's a bunch of quests to track down. We got a lot of side quests to do out here still, guys. We ain't leaving to go back yet. We got three, four, five quests, it looks like. We got a bit to do yet. Oh, what's this quest? Clustered Merchant. Thank goodness, a capable looking traveler. Please, I need your help. My caravan was attacked by beasts. I had a bodyguard, a young Mamulja mercenary, but he could barely fend for himself, let alone me. He somehow managed to throw me over his shoulder and carry me all the way here, but no sooner did my feet touch the ground than he ran back into the jaws of death. Damned if I can figure out why. Injured as he was, I don't like his chances. Please, I beg of you, go to Ch go to Chabaya Kek and save him. Like it's I'll follow the road to the hot springs, but hang a right and you down the path. Oh, 
Alright, bud. Probably with my eyes. You felt those bloodthirsty beasts with such ease. Ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Thank you for saving me. As a mercenary for hire, I'm ashamed such help was even necessary. Why'd you run back? The merchant sent you, did she? Back in the caravan, saw her wares scattered all over. Figured the least I could do was retrieve as much as I could. Thanks to your timely rescue, I can still do just that. I need you to stay with me, friend. Don't let her know that I'm safe. I'll grab what I can be as I'm be along shortly. Oh, so he was just he was defending his own honor out of it then. Noble a noble cause. But honor is worthless when you're dead. <laughs> There's no honor to have should you fall to beasts. Oh, I'm so relieved to hear he's safe. Mamulja take considerable pride in their trade as mercenary. That young man seems to have a particularly acute sense of responsibility. I've heard tell that some Mamulja travel across the salt to make a name for themselves. A preliminary step to that, it seems many young hopefuls gather experience here in Tural as mercenaries and bodyguards to sharpen their skills. It said, or just as he is, the young man failed to protect my caravan. I'll have to discuss some form of compensation for my losses. I'm not heartless, however. He saved my life and risked his own to claim, reclaim my wares. There's much to consider. For now, however, treating his wounds must come first. Yeah. It's a learning point. Another ether current collected. Do, 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 do. Crisis of corruption. Corrupted crystals? We've dealt with this before. Seen this before? What eleven times, as a matter of fact. Hey, I recognize you. You're Andy, yes? I heard about you. Companion to the third promise. A most dependable individual. The name's Nopoli, and I'll have you know I'm a merchant blessed by fortune, if I do say so myself. Indeed, I believe our meeting today is no chance encounter. Hands of fate guiding us for one singular purpose. Exchange of invaluable items at an unbelievable price. I can direct your attention over here for just a moment. Feast your eyes on these crates of exceedingly rare and precious corrupted crystals. Beautiful, aren't they? They were extracted from remote regions of Eorzea. Shine a bright or brilliant orange hue. Quite unlike your run-of-the-mill crystals, no? Are you willing to offer them for the low, low price of one pell in the millions column? It's nigh highway robbery at this valuation, but anything. Friend of the Third Promise... Sorry, I clearly misheard you. It almost sounded like you said one billion. What do you mean? Considering how much it sent me back to purchase them, the price I'm offering should be perfectly reasonable. Trains, these are precious crystals, are they not? Actually, only in an extremely specific circumstance. Just to be certain, these crystals are considered priceless treasures in Aeorus. Wait. Actually, no. Oh, funny thing about that. You've been swindled. <laughs> Let's see if I'm getting this right. Not only are corrupted crystals commonplace across the salt, but they're also highly volatile. Oh, yes, and deeply explosive. In the past, you, you once used such crystals together with an elemental converter to do battle with powerful entities you call primals. Yes. What's more, you've kept them in a warded container at all times to protect them against their delirant, materious effects. All of which is to say, no practical use for such crystals has been discovered, meaning no one with sense would ever bother to mine them. But who sold me these crystals to me never mentioned a word of this. He claimed they're extremely rare in Eorzea, which is why I decided to purchase them in the first place. Even at the exorbitant price he offered. You have been sold fool's gold. Naturally, I believed him. I've never seen crystals of their like. Would you blame me? They really have no use. Have I, Nopoli the Lucky, been 
Swindled? You've been had. <laughs> Bamboozled. Swindled. Hogswide. And any other numerous forms of descriptor I can use that's a synonym to that. Well, at the very least, I was able to learn about the crystal's true nature before selling them to some poor soul. Fortune hasn't abandoned me completely yet. At any rate, I'd like to verify whether these crystals truly hold no value. Would you be willing to help me look into this, Andy? Need someone I can trust, and I trust and that you would be willing to share the truth with me says a lot. No need to answer right away. Give it some thought. If you've no interest, you're free to be on your way. If you decide to assist me, however, I'll be here waiting. Well, let's help him out with his corrupted crystals, then. Now, before I go and confront the merchant who sold me these crystals, I'd like to look into potential uses for them in Tural. For instance, crystals are in high demand among Tarali mages, and make extensive use of them in my rituals. I just so happen to know a spellcaster among the distillery's guard. I'd like you to speak with them about the corrupted crystals and gauge their interest in purchasing. In the meantime, I will see about procuring a container to ward off the crystal's harmful effects. For your explanation, preparing an elemental converter with my skills is likely impossible. Finding the requisite materials for a warding vessel should be well within my abilities. The mage you're looking for is an individual of the Bonoa tribe. If you happen upon someone wielding a staff, chances are you found them. Looking for a large Mamulja gentleman wielding a magic stick. Have you seen a Mamulja with a magic stick? I don't know the first thing about crystals, I'm not an artisan nor a mage. Okay. You are not able to direct me. It's a bow bearing guard. Unusual crystals? Not interested. I prefer to keep my distance from peculiarities. Ah, stave bearing guard. That's what we're looking for. Intriguing. I've never heard of these corrupted crystals. As a practitioner of the arcane arts, I'll not deny they pique my curiosity. I'm afraid I have no interest in purchasing them. They're as volatile as you say. There is little to be done with crystals whose very nature can change on a whim. If the person we need to try and find that would need these would be an engineer. They're not entirely useless, actually. Didn't Sid figure out a way to utilize these for nullifying different elemental uh, impacts? These ended up actually becoming quite useful, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, even the mage was not interested. Nevertheless, I thank you for speaking with them on my behalf. It seems you were right, the crystals really are worthless. I may be unable to make back what I've lost, but there's still one thing I can do. Andy, I wish to stop that pernicious peddler from continuing his crooked ways. Will you help me? Sure. What a relief. I'm going to offer you a small token of my thanks. If you have a moment to spare, please come see me again. We must stop him before he has a chance to swindle anyone else. Prevent the swindler. To catch a merchant. Every moment we leave that peddler to his own devices is another opportunity for some unsuspecting traveler to be hoodwinked. We need to figure out where he's been and where he may go next. I'll ask around Wachun Palo and at anyone else has had similar run-ins with the disreputable merchants. In the meantime, I'd like you to find the scoundrel and keep him in your sights by whatever means necessary. You can't have him leaving before we've had the chance to settle this matter, after all. I expect he's still in Urkopacha, visiting the markets to use his ill-gotten hell to stock up on his return for his return to Eorzea. Like as not, he's inspecting the stalls at Bolo's Inn. Ask after a Lollafell by the name of he Gigi Molu, but be discreet. Once you've found him, try to keep him occupied for as long as you can. It would be an Uldan merchant of disreputable character. How many times do I have to teach these Uldans this lesson? No swindling. That's bad.
Roads are pretty dangerous, all things considered. Attacked by giant anteaters and shit. What are those? Is that that's not an anteater, it's like a I don't know what the hell that thing is. Very angry badger. It's a juiced up badger of some kind. The dude playing a dead game. A dead game that has login queues to get on every server. Very dead. Much very there are literally no other players playing this game. Nobody else. No no other players here. Not at all. Later, how's it going? Oh, well, this is a pleasant surprise. I think we would meet again here of all places. You do recognize me, don't you? The merchant you spoke with on the ship to Tulioli? Oh, yeah. That's where I know you from. Neglected to impart my name to you at the time, but I shall happily rectify that now. Gigi Molu, at your service. My arrival on the continent, say business has been booming. Singular town with no one in it. Therefore, they're in, therefore dead game. <laughs> Even though there's literally another dude here, even. Here are the details of my most recent transaction, but suffice to say, I earned quite a handsome sum for a most generous young merchant. Huh. Really makes the lengthy voyage here feel well worth the trouble. All that remains before I return to Eorzea is to purchase some commodities. Alas, ever since I felt the soothing waters of Ponic Pelu retreat, on my skin I can think of little else. Your mention of it has stirred my yearning to avail myself of those hot springs once more. I mean, it was a pleasure to meet you again, my friend, but I must be going. Farewell. One other person. Later, there are so many people that were in the main city last night when I was playing, because it's the launch day of the expansion. Uh, that my frame rate went from its usual 60 down to, like, 22. <laughs> there were that many people. It, it was wild. No, it's been really fun. I, I've deeply enjoyed the game so far. We're like ankle deep into it. <laughs> 